Hello YouTube, this is Ms. Chris Deacon, I'm back. I hopefully this is a decent volume. Let me just make sure. Where is this? That's it there. I'm gonna raise this a tiny bit. But um this is this is teaching feelings. It's a game you have to find it through alternative methods, and it's not a Steam game. And there's gonna be stuff that I have to blur out or censor out later on down the line. But this game hit a chord within me when I was watching the gameplay of it in the early hours of the day. We're doing one part, and I'm doing one part of We Happy Few, and I need to take a shower and then go pick up my paycheck and do some stuff around that, uh, around town, and then I need to get ready, get some sleep, and then get ready for work. So, in the early hours of the day, there was a latent knock on the door. I didn't plan to meet with anyone today, and I don't have any friends who would drop by without saying it so either. Who could it be? Greetings, Doctor. I opened the door, and there was a suspicious middle-aged man standing in front of my house. Do you remember me? You saved my life in the past. I look at the man's face and try to remember. Now that he mentions it, I do vaguely re recognize his face. That's right. How long ago you saved me when I had collapsed in the outskirts of town. Even though you knew involving yourself would bring nothing but trouble. I wonder if it's just in a doctor's na nature. I apologize that I left at the time without thanking you properly. I happened to be nearby, so I thought I'd come and give my thanks. He's certainly suspicious, but he went out of his way to come and thank me. Maybe, maybe I should make some tea. Oh no, I'm fine. I don't plan to take too much of your time. For now, please accept this. At the time, I had nothing else on me, so I couldn't even pay him for my treatment. The man handed me an envelope. Side was more money than one would expect for just treatment fees. My payment was delayed until now, so please consider it an apology. Please accept it. I have one more thing I brought with me, but may I come inside before we discuss this? As expected of you, doctor. Hey, come over here. And Miriam raises his voice, the girl walks in. A wealthy person died in an accident re recently. He didn't have any close relatives, so people claiming to be government officials, relatives, and friends came and stole all of his assets. I have a few connections here and there, so I was able to get some of the leftovers. But I was also entrusted with a few troublesome items. Yes, this is one of them right here. I am but a humble merchant now. My motto is to buy and sell anything. So I was told to sell this off somehow, but when it comes to buying and selling people, it'd be fine if one in question w could be used for manual labor, but it's not easy finding a buyer for a brat like this. If I rush things, there's possibility that I may suffer some losses too. It's not that like I need to break even or on this one, so rather than doing something stupid, I thought of either disposing of her or throwing her away, but even if I have conscience and compassion, I want to avoid anything troublesome, but I didn't have anywhere I could hand this one off to. I was doing business in town, and now I remembered that you saved my life once, but before. From what I could tell, it seems that you are still living by yourself. It may be none of my business, but I thought that you may be feeling a little bit lonely. It's a bit sudden, but would you take this one? What shall I do? I'll take the girl. Is that so? It'll help both me and this girl out. This girl is a slave without any relatives. You can ha have helped around town or if you have such preferences you can treat her like your toy there's no one who would object 
If you want to know more about her, you can ask her. And I shall take my leave. Once again, thank you very much for saving that day. The man left. Nice to meet you. My name is Sylvia. So, Selby. Thank you for very much for accepting me. I cannot do heavy labor. I believe I can do any simple chores that would you would ask me of. However, my previous masters enjoyed hearing my screams the most. Please, treat me gently. What should I do now? We should probably save a little bit in. Okay, let's um, less. No way. Let's pat her head. Pat Sylvia's head. Um, what are you doing? Are you patting my head? That's fine, but. She looks confused. There's no particular reaction. Is there any media in doing this? I don't really understand. Is this fun? I can feel her soft air in my hand. And that's going to be a main portion of the game. A lot of it is you pat in her head and then... Oh, the sun has already set. I guess I'll make dinner soon. I tell Sylvia to sit at the table. Dinner is fine for me to eat even though I haven't screamed. Master is very passionate. Thank you very much. Now what shall I do about it? Let's do the same meal. Don't treat it differently. Do the same meal size. I'll start making meals for two from now on. No trouble, make an extra portion. Is the guest coming tonight? Perhaps it would be best for me to hide. Oh, it's for you. She doesn't seem to think the food placed in front of her is for herself. This is my meal? Her previous master will only give me bread and water. Am I allowed to eat this? Yes, yes you are. And thanks you, thank you for the meal. Sylvia nervously picks up the fork and begins eating awkwardly. Her expression is stiff and it doesn't seem like she is joining the meal. Thank you for the meal. Sylvia looks troubled after she finished eating. Master, this is the first time I've eaten such a delicious meal. It's also the first time I've eaten until I'm, I was full. Thank you very much. Doesn't seem like she's telling a lie, but she's clearly anxious. She must be feeling confused due to the drastic change in treatment up until now. Or even, so I should go to bed, get ready for bed. I said, where should I sleep? The bedroom. Fortunately, there's an empty, empty room. Is this fine for me to use this room? In this bed? I'm fine with sleeping on the floor. No, you sleep in the bed. It's there. My teaching feelings struck a chord in me because you solely you have to solely like it says teach feelings to her, but it takes a long time and. I'm in the same boat, like, I don't know how to express myself sometimes, and it's hard for me. And YouTube has opened me up, but not by a whole lot, so even streaming is still harder for me to do. And this game just kind of, I relate with it, as I could say, so... And maybe some other people do relate with it. Some maybe people like it. Some may, if you don't like it, don't watch the video. If you like it, keep watching. You can watch other playthroughs of it too. And it's a long game. I don't know if there's an end. I don't know. I only watched a few videos on it, and it still seemed like the person was doing playthrough parts after that. So if this is the case, I'll gladly accept this room. A master. 
what will happen to me from now on? Will I, will I have painful and terrible things done to me? She seems to think that an alternate motive behind the way. I don't do things like that. Really? I mind having painful things done to me. If it pleases you, Master. I can't wait for us to change our name from Master to our name. My previous Master really enjoyed hearing me scream in pain. It's just like the To The Moon game. That's another game that brings out some parts of me that is harder for me to bring out in videos and we need to finish that. Same thing with Undertale and even if it doesn't get a lot of views, it doesn't have to get a lot of views. We're gonna finish those games. I have free time this weekend. We're gonna finish either To The Moon or Undertale because we're very close with both of them. Actually, I think to the moon we're halfway through undertale we're more than halfway through we're probably like 75 percent through the pacifist run and we're either going to finish one then this weekend on live streams and then those will be uploaded sometime next week i'll do anything i can do to help if i'm with just little for meals please have mercy she doesn't seem to completely trust what i said that's fine it takes time i'm very sorry mm, good night master Sylvia has nothing to do and just sits there. Something wrong? Her eyes meet mine as I looked at her. There are vivid red, red wounds all over her pale body. These scars, they are from long ago, so they don't hurt much anymore. After looking more carefully, the wound doesn't seem raw, so bandages Banging them, see them isn't necessary. Conversation? Not very good at that. Doesn't seem like she intends to continue a conversation. Just what kind of life was she living until now? When I was with my previous master, I was whipped daily, amongst other things. I'd like to know more, but I don't want to push her. Because even pushing people and then that have been bullied or abused or like her can't push them too far. You might want to know and want to help them, but it still takes a lot out of them to even tell them anything. Tell anything about them to more than just like to bring it out from themselves bring out in the open I don't have any relatives so before I was taken in by my previous master I was in the facility I don't especially have anything to talk about isn't there something we can talk about I observed the various scars these scars are from when corrosive chemical chemicals wow or that me I'd rather not remember it Sorry, even. I should get ready for bed. Good night. <clears throat> Good morning, Master. I do dis dislike painful things, but I don't intend to disobey anything Master wants to of me. So it's not like she doesn't have anything she dislikes. No, she dislikes stuff. She just doesn't want to admit to it. I can see her short and slender body from over her rags. She has breathless, sober hair and calm eyes. Is there something wrong? Sierra has nothing to do and just sits there. Let's pat her head again. Please do as you wish. She looked confused. There's no particular reaction. And it takes, I think, a couple in-game days before things start picking up, so... Or does it happen now? Master? Is there anything that I could do to help? I sent a timid voice as I prepared. I was preparing to sleep. As a slave, I can stand by and watch as you work around the house. She might be wor worrying and she'd be thrown away if she doesn't do anything. 
Let's let's let her handle the simple hours work. Yes, I understand. Cleaning and washing dishes. I'll do my very best. Because that's the only option there. I would love to tell her, just don't worry. But even that, she wouldn't believe me. You're stroking my head. Patting my head? I don't understand. I can feel her soft hair in my hand. She has a strange expression on her face. Is there any meaning in doing this? I don't think I can react in a way that will entertain you. If this is what Master wants to do, please do as you like. Is this fun? It's already evening. I should get ready for bed. Good night. See, it's gonna go like this for a while, and then it'll pick up. Good morning, Master. Wow, there's a lot here. Well, it tells you the exact time. Like if I save again, there's the time. Well, so you guys know the time I'm playing this, but whatever. It's going off the same day I record this. Sylvia is starting to blankly, blankly into space. Is there something wrong? It seems like she, my staring bothers her. Let's pat her head. Patting my head feels good. I don't understand. There's no particular reaction. I don't dislike it, but is there nothing else for me to do? Sorry, evening. I should get ready for bed. Good night. You're stroking my head, patting my head. I don't understand. My computer. Okay, we're getting repeats, but that's fine. I think we have to do this enough times to then let the story open up. Okay, we're getting repeats and I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Do you like master? Do, do as you like master, I am a slave after all. Don't talk like that. I'm expressionless, I'm sorry. Nothing changing facial expressions have become a habit. The meals master prepares always, uh, always look so nice, I bet it would compared to just bread and water. It would have been better if I didn't have a soul. Sorry, even I should get ready for bed. Good night. Oh, here we go. I didn't, I didn't skip much. I was still in the same day. I just was talking to her. I might leave that in. I don't know. I might cut it out. As I left my room this morning, I saw Sylvia looking out the window. Good morning. Are you not working today? said you're going out shopping during the day. Yes, please take care. Now that I think about it, Sylvia hasn't gone outside a single time since she came here. Let's go out uh, together with Sylvia. Understand. Cannot carry, don't worry about carrying heavy things. Sylvia sign follows behind me. She seems calm at first, but her eyes are darting left to right nervously. Doesn't seem like she's used to being in town. After walking, stops for a moment. Oh, I'm very sorry. It's nothing. Soon, room my tickle is my nose. It seems like drew her a little early, but get some lunch. 
people will be having lunch here. Welcome. The moment we entered the cafe, an employee with a strained manner of speech came awkwardly flying over to us. For two, isn't that right? Right this way, okay? I sat down at the sign table with Sylvia. Flipping through the menu, I decided to order a sandwich for myself. Looks around the store curiously, gazed. Sylvia will have. Let's do pancakes, because if her eyes stopped on the pancake, we might as well give her pancakes. After a while, the food I ordered arrived at. Ah, this is for me? Uh, no, I've never eaten this before. Is it fine for me to eat this? Yes, it's fine. And thank you for the meal. It's soft, sweet. Sylvia always acts very timid when she eats, but surprisingly she began eating her pancakes with vigor. She seems to be really enjoying her lunch. Mm, thank you for the meal. It was delicious, very. Thank you very much. Sylvia has a small smile on her face for the first time. Maybe she has noticed, her, noticed herself as she immediately went back to her usual expression, less self. I also finished eating my sandwich. I should do some light shopping and go home. Okay. So that's one of the parts. I'm gonna end it here. Um, let's just continue talking to her. Maybe she answered when she went out. That's me. That's her doctor, right? Just a humble town doctor. Is there a difference? Master is kind properly. Never gone out like that before. I was happy, I think. Sorry, even I should get ready for bed. Good night. See, now we don't have the option from the last her. Like, well, you could go the evil path and do everything evil to her, but I can't do that. It's. This is a game, but it's another human being you're talking about. She is cute. Scars make the person. Scars tell stories. Scars, tattoos, everything has a story. They don't make someone look different. It's just their own... Maybe addition, you used to say extra thing to themselves just extra thing that gives them personality gives them character it doesn't bother me sorry I sidetracked I'm tired too I guess I need to go to bed later so let's go out and just see and then we're, we'll cut after this where shall we go we'll go to town we arrived in town but where should we go next Let's check out the shop. Suddenly a strange store entered my vision. I cannot see inside the store from the outside. I can't guess what kind of store it is. Let's try open the door. Seems like a store detailing mostly in women's clothes. There are a lot of clothes with strange patterns and specific designs. Oi, my welcome. As I looked around a store, a strange woman approached me. She's dressed very gothic right now. Oh, oh my. Are you looking for clothes for this girl today? Am I right? Please let me, let me be right. No, I must be right. I mean, I may be out of place for saying so, but someone who sells clothes, I just cannot excuse the way she that she is dressed. Could you please wait for her a little bit? I'll choose something that will be just perfect for her. Come on. Come over here. Uh, 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 giving me any time to eject, the strange woman took Sylvia deeper into the store. I'm sorry for the wait. How's this, dear customer? Isn't she completely different from before? Gratefully looking clothing. It's a whole lot better than what she was wearing. Perhaps she isn't used to wearing such things as she looks uncomfortable. 
Having to go her age only wear a single rag is just too much. Don't you think these are much more thin? I strongly recommend buying these clothes. What shall I do? I'll buy them. Oh dear customer, that was a very wise decision. One look one's looks can affect one's dignity. Now the girl looks like a dignified lady worth of you. I was halfway forced into buying new clothing for Sylvia. I'm master. These clothes are wasted on me. Perhaps it would be better to return them. You look very cute in them. Uh, um, thank you very much. She's blushing. But I'm a slave, so these... No, it's nothing. It's just gonna take time. So... She has a dress, took her out. This will progress. I will do another part later on. Otherwise, I need to record some We Happy Few. So I will see you guys in the next video. If you like the video, give a like. If ever any subscribe to the channel, re recommend subscribing to the channel, keep all the content. Otherwise, uh, this is called Teaching Feelings version 1.9.2. If I find the link I got off of, I will put it down in the description. But it was a long time ago that I downloaded this. I just finally remembered I had this. So, uh, hopefully you guys like this. Let me just save and make sure everything's good. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully I see you guys next video. Oh, yeah. And have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. And hopefully I see you guys next video. Peace.